two traveling monks reached a river when they met a young woman. Where are you the current? She asked if they could carry her across. Now the one monk hesitated, but the other monk quickly picked her up onto his shoulders, brought her across the water, and set her down on the other bank. She thanked him and departed. As they continued on their way, the one monk was brooding and preoccupied and unable to hold his silence. He spoke out, Brother! Our spiritual training teaches us to avoid any contact with a woman, and yet you picked that one up and carried her on your shoulders. Brother! <laughs> the second monk replied, I set her down on the other side while you are still carrying her. <laughs> In Mexico, since we are talking about Mexico, there is no art. Things are made for use, and the world is in perpetual exaltation. A church in a small town or city probably commissioned this wood sculpture. Portable and light, it was likely carried through the streets for ceremonial processions. Mexicans seek contact with minds. Forces latent in their forms, unreleased by contemplation of these forms, but streamed to life by magical identification with these forms. The religious figure of the Mater Domini played an active role in popular worship as religious and civic issues were deeply entwined in 15th century Italy. The gods that sleep in museums. The world in which a stone comes alive and has been properly carved. The old totemism of animals, stone, objects, things capable of discharging thunderbolts. Everything, in short, that may determine, disclose, and direct the secret forces of the universe. A statue of the Christ child once sat in the Virgin's lap, but it was removed. The score is a dead thing. In which we derive nothing but static and aesthetic profit. Profit of an audience, not of an actor. And perhaps placed in other contexts for celebrations or festivities. <laughs> Farewell, my dears. I sat her down on one side while you are still here. <laughs> a university student, while visiting a wise monk, asked him Have you ever read the Christian Bible? Bible? The mission of Jesus began with the separation of his, with his mother. Separation did not mean distance of heart, nor did it prevent the mother from spiritually following her son. Her grace and faith, in fact, enabled her to grasp the meaning of Jesus' teachings before and better than his disciples, who often did not understand his teachings especially his references to his future passion. No, read it to me, said the wise monk. The student opened the Bible and read it from St. Matthew. Ask, and, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. The wise monk remarked, that is excellent. Whoever said that must not be far from Buddhahood. Farewell, <laughs> my dearest. We must insist upon the idea of culture in action, of culture growing within us like a, a new organ, a sort of second breath. Anxious moments, days of grief, days of sorrow, Attachment is the most natural human function. When biological ties are touched, especially the mother child, it is hard not to get caught. Thy image, O oh my son, I trace the parting look of thy love. If it is important for us to eat, it is even more important for us not to waste the simple power of being hungry. Parental fears still on the urge. The fathomed deep, the foaming surge.
if art has been created as an outlet for our oppressions. The bizarre poetry expressed in these corruptions of the facts of life demonstrates that life's intensity is still intact and asks only to be better directed. Please, see what helps you to notice when you get caught and what is skillful practice right here. Always in the midst of ongoing zazen, ongoing practice, please live your life well. And appreciate this wonderful moment now. Be at peace. We need to live, first of all. Believe what makes us live, that something makes us live. To believe in a sense of life renewed by art. A sense of life in which man becomes master of what does not yet exist and brings it 